Hopkins softball team represented Section 6 in the Class 4A state tournament last week. In this week's Sports Jam Spotlight, we meet a talented junior who is a jewel on the Royals Diamond. For a player who hit 500 this season and was a first-team All-Metro player, Natalie Den Hartog is pretty humble about her personal success. I think it's gone pretty well. Um, I hope just uh, in each opportunity I've done what I was supposed to do to help my team. And um, I mean, I always think I can do better, but I'm sure things could be worse also. <laughs> it's that team first attitude and great ability that makes her what Mark Peterson calls a coach's dream. Natalie is a gifted athlete uh, and is, is very competitive. Obviously, she can generate a lot of bat speed with, with those quick hands and a lot of those fast twitch muscles. She's a good base runner, strong defensively, strong arm. You know, we'd, we'd call that a five-tool player, you know, so she, and she does well, and she's a competitor. She's probably one of the best shortstops I've had behind me, and I've played with a lot of different teams, and she's definitely up there. Um, I can count on her a lot of times with her bat and with her plays in the field, so she's a good teammate to have. Natalie isn't a player to get cheated on her swings at the plate. And Hartog drives it out to right center field. That's off the base of the fence. The former baseball player generates great bat speed, something she worked on with her dad. I remember when I was young and playing baseball, me and my dad uh, took a break and said, look, we got to figure out a way where I can hit the ball over the outfielder's heads. And so that kind of developed my like big leg kick, which is not seen as much in high school. And, and ever since then, I just try to just try to pound it. <laughs> I'd like to take all the credit. That'd be nice. But uh, no, she, she really works hard. What she has is a, a really good work ethic. And one thing that's really helped her with uh, uh, hitting for power this year is that she got into the weight room really hard this through the winter time and got a lot stronger and uh, and I think that that transitions to better bat speed and balls going going out pretty fast. While she's a tremendous hitter, Dan Hartog can also field with the best of them at shortstop. So which does she enjoy most? Whatever's going well that day, <laughs> you know, um, and whatever. I mean, sometimes you don't get any balls at short and you just have to get your opportunities at the plate and sometimes you get 10 balls at short and go over at the plate. So it's just whatever you can do that get that day. John Den Hartog is the school's longtime head football coach, and Natalie is the youngest of his children to play sports at Hopkins, following JT in football, five years older than Natalie, and softball playing sister Haley, three years older. It's a dream come true, you know. Uh, anytime you get to kind of share moments, you know, both good and bad with your kids there on, on the sports field, um, it's just memories that, that last a lifetime. And um, my older kids, we still talk about it all the time, and, and uh, Natalie, we're kind of in the middle of it, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, really, really enjoy it. I started out playing catch with JT and Haley when I was young and then watching JT play baseball, I started out playing baseball and then, you know, Haley started playing fast pitch, fast pitch softball and I thought, I gotta try that now. And and so, I mean, they've always been there. They've always been my number one fans and me, their number one fans. And so I really don't think I would be, you know, here if I wasn't for them, so. Though only a junior, Natalie is already in her fifth year of varsity softball. Three years ago, Natalie had the chance to play alongside Haley in the Hopkins outfield. Though Natalie says she's not sure how much Haley enjoyed that, it was a blast for her. My eighth grade year, I got to play center field while Haley played left field, and that was like, I think I'll always remember that for the rest of my life, because who gets to play right next to their sister, and I got to have that experience, so. With the high school season now over, Natalie returns this summer to her club team, Midwest Speed. I was looking at my schedule yesterday, it looks like I have about one free weekend <laughs> the rest of the summer until about August, but I'm definitely not complaining and it'll be a lot of fun. Natalie is verbally committed to playing softball at Augustana in Sioux Falls.